asking about picnics, uh, how to make them more manly, right? Well, yeah, picnic like a man. Like a man. Like a man. But a lot of folks would think that means to make it more manly. I mean, that. I think that that means to be prepared, to have everything covered so that nothing goes wrong, all right? Today is all about going out and having a picnic. And believe it or not, men, this is the easiest thing for you to accomplish. Like dinner reservations, whatever. Making dinner, okay, that's hard. But getting the picnic done, that's actually easy if you start with these tips right here. How to picnic like a man. And the one thing a man is always doing, a man is always prepared. So the prep is most important. What I mean by the prep is selecting the spot that you're going to picnic. So today it's going to be around 88 degrees. What's that who? <laughs> Location, 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 <laughs> right? So today's going to be about 88 degrees. You don't want to picnic in the direct sun today or any day for that matter. So your job is to prep, break, uh, to prep and go out and find, excuse me, go and find a great location, shady, perfect spot so you can get everything done and have the best time. All right, now start thinking about what you're going to bring, all right? Another reason why the picnic is so easy to nail, the food is super, super simple. Finger foods are the best. You heard who Lisa talk about she wanted a fruit salad or something of this nature. And then the one thing that you can always bring that everyone usually likes easy to deal with is fried chicken because if it gets cold it's fine if it sits out there it's fine you know what you don't want to necessarily bring potato salad that's not so good out in the heat so the food can be super super simple and it makes it really really enjoyable if you always bring something finger foods vegetables fruit salad fried chicken easy breezy for everybody to eat that number three the drink now you can wine Easy to do on a picnic, right? Bottle of wine, everybody's happy. Maybe you want to bring some beers out. Okay, a whole different situation. But I suggest you add a personal touch and make a beverage of that particular season. Like we have a, a drink of summer that we do at the house or a drink of spring. Do that sort of thing. And also don't forget, provide something that's non-alcoholic for folks who may want to enjoy that as well. But put your own personal touch on the beverage. Number four, the games. Okay, you have to have some activity, something to do out there. I don't want to suggest doing anything really big and labor intensive like, you know, softball or anything like that. But a little lawn bowling, a little bocce ball is great. But what I prefer is to bring a kite out and fly a kite out there at the park while you're enjoying the picnic. It's not so labor intensive and it's really, really, really fun. You can stop whenever you want, pretty much. As long as you get the kite out of the sky. That's a whole nother ordeal, too. And the last thing is about being prepared. Remember, the cleanup is super, super important. And in this particular case, oh, some plastic storage containers are going to be your absolute best friends. Also, don't forget, bring some trash bags with you and Ziploc bags as well, because you want to leave that park in the same pristine condition in which you found it. This is how you picnic like a man. That means you are prepared, you have everything covered to have a great time and get out of there, clean up, and no one knew you were there. To find out more, go to gooddaysacramento.com, click on show info for today's date, and man up for nailing the picnic. Good day continues after this. This is a